Oh, whoa, furry community. It seems we got ourselves a new victim. Hello? There's furries after me. There's furries lying about me. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm getting attacked. What do I do? This isn't... Okay, I need you to calm down. You are speaking too fast. What is the problem? Okay, I'm sorry, but what I'm trying to say is that there's thousands of furries attacking me based on fabrication. Yeah, I don't really know. It's just some random furries that are making fabrications about me. So, well, what, what do I do? They're saying I'm canceled. They're saying they're going to sue me or have me sued, and they wish that I could sue. Some are telling me to drop dead. Like, I'm not really sure what to do about all these attacks. One just commented cancel with a clown emote right now. What, what is happening? Dumb introductions aside, how's it going, furry gamers? I have left my grave because I heard a YouTuber was going around spreading lies, stealing artwork, and doxing someone. Though to be honest, that describes a lot of YouTubers. Yes, I am here to touch upon the madam situation. Is it madam or madame? Who Really, who cares? Back on topic, if you're involved or like the commentary slash art community at all, you've probably heard this person's name going around. If you haven't, then you're probably thinking, Z, who is this thought, and why are you giving said thought attention? Very good question, individual. I will tell you about this thought. See, Madame is a YouTuber who was interested in commissioning an artist called Slimers. Slimers, due to their age, did not have a PayPal, therefore could not accept payment. However, this artist was so passionate and loved the idea of working with a YouTuber, so she offered to draw her sprites for free. No joke, an absolute saint, considering what happens later. Anyways, Slimers draws the artwork under the condition that she gets credited in the description. Another part of the deal was that she'd get a shout out in a video. Now, here's a question for the audience. Do you think I would have wrote a script, recorded audio, edited this video, and uploaded it, if that simple agreement was met? The only answers are no and fuck no. So Slimers wasn't credited when her work was used in a thumbnail. When she noticed this, she left a comment on the video mentioning it, and Madame, well, let's just say at this point she kind of reminds me of Mikan Sumiki, only instead of asking to be forgiven, Madame is basically begging for the internet to hate her. Can't say their behavior isn't the same though. It's not fair. It's not fair. 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 Why won't you forgive me? If you did something wrong, you'd forgive yourself right away. What did I do? Why won't anybody forgive me? Christ, what a nutcase. Moving on, Madame had a meltdown in the DMs. She called Slimers unprofessional about 80 times, and then she blocked Slimers on Discord and Instagram. She put extra salt in the wound by putting this in the description. Thumbnail art by no one, since they decided to be unprofessional. Christ, to think someone would lose their shit over that? I can't believe it. Actually, never mind, I can't. After all this, Madame made a 35 minute video where she repeated herself and said something about furries and how they wanted to spread lies about her. Yes, I did watch it, but to be perfectly honest, it was stupid and I couldn't stand listening to it. Along with that, Madame also released personal information about the artist, like their phone number, as well as some other info that I honestly am not comfortable talking about. Psst, it's very bad and it includes R-A-P-E. So Madame decided to come to the conclusion that everything that this artist told her is a complete lie, including the, um, <clears throat> R.I.P. Of course, she had no proof to back this up. She did not show any screenshots, and as we all know, you do not do that! So that leads us to where we are now. Slimers has still not been credited, and Madame is still acting like she did nothing wrong. So what's the point of this video? Everyone has already talked about it. Did I just want to hop on the bandwagon and make a dang and rumpa reference? Well, if you must know, the answer to both of those is yes. However, I thought this would be a great way to teach you guys how to not make the same mistakes if it ever comes to commissioning artists. Also, if you're in this situation, how to not come off as a crazy person. First point on the list, if you are going to commission an artist and the terms you accept is that you'll credit them when you use the artwork, then you go through with it. That's simple enough. 
It doesn't matter if you use the work for only a second, you better credit them. Second point, when you become upset with someone, that does not give you justification to dox that person. No, I don't care what your reason is, it's wrong no matter what. Third point, if you're going to call someone a liar, then you're going to need proof. You can't just make claims and have them be taken at face value. Seriously, do not pull a Tati Westbrook situation. J just don't. Fourth, don't be a hypocrite. Don't say things like you hate liars while being a massive liar yourself. Doing such things will result in you looking like a fool every single time. Fifth, and this is the last point and probably the most important, don't overreact. That's it. Don't take it so personal when someone calls you out on your mistakes, especially when it's easily fixable. Also, maybe don't be dramatic in your server about how you'll be leaving the internet. It's just not necessary. With that being said, I might as well make my closing arguments. Always give credit where credit is due. Don't dock someone that you had a falling out with. Don't make claims that you can't back up. And lastly, don't lie about the situation because as we've learned time and time again, it never ends up well for liars. It's time to fess up, madam. You're not fooling anyone. Anyways, gamers, that'll be all from me. This was just a short filler video that I can make while I'm working on the actual one. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be seeing you next time.